Hello and welcome to this Millennial Review where today we're taking a look at the Canon PIXMA TS6420A and taking it out of the package I'll show you how to get it set up, how to make the copy, the print, the scan, all those functions work and even better I was able to pick this one up on a pretty great sale that I'll have linked below in case you need it. But without any further ado let's go ahead and pop open our knife and get it cut open so that way we can see what's going to come inside and what it's going to take to get set up. So first things first as we crack it open up on the top you're going to get the user's manual. Uh, it looks like it comes with a little bit of photo paper so that's nice but this will have the quick start guide on how to get everything working and then we should typically get the ink. Yes indeed so this uses Canon's 260 ink so 261 is what it's going to be called for the color version but there you go that's the uh, the two inks that are going to be needed and then this one will come with a power cable now it's important to mention you don't get a usb cable because it's expecting you're going to be doing this all over wi-fi and then you're just going to have to be nice and ginger when you pull out the printer because it's going to slide out of the out of the box like that all right and that is the printer. So here's our Canon printer. You're gonna see all these kind of orange tabs uh, that are all about the printer and some coverings there. Those are gonna be the things we're gonna to need to take off to be able to get this printer set up and ready to go because this is holding everything just for shipping. Of course, one of my favorite parts, getting to pull off all this uh, little bits of plastic coverings here. And now that we've got all of that plastic off of the printer, a couple of things to talk about here. Of course, on the front, you're gonna have a few different positions to be able to hold uh, the display panel. This is where we're gonna control everything, turn it on once everything's set up. You do have paper tray that pulls out of the bottom and a few other nice little conveniences. But when we turn to the back side of the printer, this is where the data input and the power is gonna come in. So if you were not going to run this with a wireless setup, you can get a USB cable to go right into that port there. And then your power cable that came with it, this guy here, this is just going to plug in your power cable, plug in the other side to the wall. And now we are ready to go with looking at the rest of the printer. And then now we can pull out the bottom tray, which is where our paper will go. Here we can pull that out, open it up. Take your standard eight and a half by 11 paper, where you also see you've got different settings for different heights of paper, A5. You can also adjust width as well. But in this case, just standard eight and a half by 11 uh, letter sized paper. So get that put in. And we can toss our little cover right back on. And with that properly in place, you now also are able to lift out the tray, which is where some of the paper is gonna come out. So you can feed paper through either direction, whatever's gonna work right for you. Moving on to how this is gonna operate, let's take a look. So we'll power this on, just like so. It's gonna go through a boot up process. It is flashing on the camera, but not in person. That's a refresh rate issue with the camera. All right, now we gotta go through, select what language. In my case, we're gonna go with English and hit enter. Uh, set to English, yes. Install ink cartridge uh, by opening the cover. To go ahead and get into the printer, lift up the scan bed bay, and then press up on this small button, which should get us room to be able to see inside to where the print head cartridges are. So you've got a C and a B. That's gonna be B for the black ink, and then of course the C one for color ink. And all we're gonna need to do is press the button in front. You can see it kinda pops right up like that, and then they'll drop down and click in. In this case, let's go ahead and start with the black ink. Take it out of the package. Be sure not to touch any of that, and you also don't wanna touch where the ink is injected out. That's where it comes out and goes into the printer. But now that that's open, 
go ahead and give it a good shake. You want to go ahead and shake these up reasonably well, and this 260 black ink is ready to go in. So you'll just take the ink, slide it right into place, and it's going to lock down, and you can almost hear a little uh, suction noise, and then just click into place. B is in place. We'll open up the C for the color. Same deal. Peel open the color ink. Give it a good shake, of course. Pull this off. Shake it a little bit more. And then now we can take that and take a quick listen. Yep. And you can hear that engage. It's pretty quiet, but in person you'll definitely hear it. Those are locked into place, and then now you can just lower down the scan bay cover, and you'll see it now says the cover has been closed. That's a good sign, and it's going to go through a little bit of initialization to make sure that those ink cartridges get placed in properly. And once it confirms that they're in there, you now need to do a start and an alignment to improve print quality. You always want to say yes. After changing up, it says load two sheets of paper. We've got those two sheets of paper right in the lower tray, so no problem there. And we'll just go ahead and click OK. It's going to take a minute or so to be able to go through this process, but it will vastly improve the overall print quality if you do the alignment. And just like that, your printer is now all set. The ink is installed and you can see it's printed on both sides. Everything's aligned up. And that means we're now good to go to go to this web address for uh, the printer to get it started up. You can scan with a mobile device or do it on your computer. In my case, I'm gonna go ahead and try this out on the computer. And now that we're on the TS6420 setup page, go ahead and hit start. You don't need to do the first time setup because we've already done that together on this video. So go ahead and click connect to a computer or smartphone. Now in this case, we're going to download the drivers that they have. We want to be able to have those downloaded because that's going to allow us to both connect up the printer, but also it's going to allow us to use the scan features, all of those good things. So just hit start up going to give us a little bit of information, click continue, it's acquiring the download of the latest driver. Always good to start fresh this way with a good driver, know everything will work. And then go ahead and read through the user's license agreement, hit yes, we'll agree to all of that. Be sure to read it on your own and now it's going to begin the processing. And now you'll see that it's going to have found the printer. It's going to ask, is that the network we want to use? In this case, absolutely. It'll show whatever network you have. And now it's going to turn off the network connection for just a moment on my computer to be able to get everything set up. So don't be doing this while you're on a Zoom call or something like that, uploading a video to the internet. And here, network name, we'll select that hit next, and then here you would have to input your password. Hit next. And with that, the connection's complete, and now we just need to install the drivers, which will take a couple of minutes to get completed, and we'll be off to the races. And here it's going to ask you to, to continue online, which is unfortunate because I don't really want to, but uh, they've got their own information they want you to do. Of course, now we want to make sure it does truly print. So go ahead, bring up the print dialog. There you go. You see the TS6400 and it's replacing my old 2700 that can now go in the dumpster because we should have quite a bit nicer printer. So it says printing. And it's gonna do all of this wirelessly. Pretty incredible process. 
not too bad at all, but it'll print right out. Just like that, we've got our dialogue for printing straight from the computer. Now on the flip side, the neat thing is it's gonna be really easy to scan. All we're gonna to need to be able to scan is just go ahead and lift up the scanner bed. It's the same place that you would put this piece of paper in to also do a copy, but you get that into the top right corner or left corner, I should say. And then we can go straight to our computer, go to the start bar. And in this, we want to type in scan and we're looking for the scan utility. What that utility is, is that's going to bring up our Canon utility. And all we're going to ask it to do is scan a photo, custom, whatever we want. In this case, scan it into a document. It's going to automatically begin the scanning process. And you'll see it says scanning original right on the printer itself. It's going to think through just a little bit. Scan complete. You can now hit exit. And it will open up what you scanned, which happens to be exactly the same thing as what we put on the scanner bed. And with that, thanks for joining me on this tutorial on the PIXMA TS6420A. I hope it was helpful, and I hope you are going to get some great use out of your Canon PIXMA printer.